Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, continuing on with understanding logarithms. Now, in the previous video, I went over the basics, of what it is, and the uh, relationship between exponential form and logarithmic form. Um, we're going to kind of finish that off and be able to write things from logarithmic form into exponential form. But let's take a look here at what we've gone over so far. We talked about how these two kinds of functions are related. Exponential functions usually look like this and logarithmic functions where we switch the x and the y values there it's, it's an inverse function and then we have log base a of a number is a certain value meaning that the exponent has to be that okay the logarithm is always the exponent value okay on a graph as I shown before this is an exponential function and since we're switching the x and y values it's an inverse we flip-flop it over this diagonal symmetry line and a logarithmic graph looks basically like this in most cases, okay? Now, here we are. We're going to take something in log form and rewrite it in exponential form. Remember that this number right here is the base number, so let's start with that. This is going to be 81, and the answer to a logarithmic form uh, function is the exponent. So we're talking about 81 to the 1 fourth power. All right, now if we figure that out, actually it's the fourth root of 81 is what you're looking at there. The answer is 3, okay? So the answer or the value is always right here. All right, similarly, number 8. Log base 14 of 196 is 2, okay? Remember that we flip it around and we look for the base, which would be 14. It's that right there. 14 to the what power is 96, 196? Ah, uh, 2. So that's the exponent right there. 14 squared equals 196. Now take a look at these four and see if you're right. All right, number 9. Remember the base is here and this is the exponent. So it's 324 to the 1 half power, which actually means the square root of 324 equals 18. All right. Here, number 10, log base 3 of 9 equals 2. So 3 to the what power is 9? 2. 3 squared equals 9, exponential form. All right, log base 7. So there's your base right there, 7. The exponent is always over here. So 7 to the third power is, this is always the value or the calculated amount or the answer. So 7 to the third power is 343. And finally, 19 to the second power is 361. Okay, 19 is the base, 2 is the exponent, and the value or the answer is 361. All right, congratulations. Thanks for watching. And we're going to move on to the next video in this series using your calculator to find logarithms. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.